And if you don't like the idea of takeoff fees, maybe what you need is an aircraft that really doesn't need a paved runway. Maybe something like a tail dragger with big flaps perhaps and big tires and a relatively big engine. And maybe one that you can open up and feel the breeze, like maybe a super legend. Here's more from Al Marsh. American Legend Aircraft Company is offering not just an airplane, but an experience. The Cub is just the, it's, uh, to me, it's bringing back the fun of aviation. And, and if anybody has the experience of flying Cubs and, and learning what low and slow is, we, I like to call it as the, the Harley in the sky. And uh, it's, it's just the wonderful experience of flying with the, both doors open and, and having the breeze in your face and flying low and be able to smell the smells out, outside and, and get the scenery. An out-the-door price of $170,000 is a big investment, but it may just keep you sane. It's less expensive than a psychiatrist. Um, I like to call them therapy airplanes. Um, you can have the most rottenest day in, going on in that day, and you can go fly and do a dozen takeoff and landings in, in 30 minutes and come back with a whole new attitude of what life should really be, and that's just enjoying it. Now the company offers the Super Legend, featuring a 115 horsepower Lycoming engine. Hart got the idea by studying modified Cubs in Alaska. When we looked at the aircraft, we spent a lot of time, I go up to Alaska, and we looked at a lot of the things that the Alaskans uh, do to their Super Cubs. And we incorporated the, what we call the doghouse, or this, the open glass house in the back. So it's standard in all of our Super Legends. And of course, we kept the dual doors on the left and right side and windows, so you can, we have no restrictions on it. You can open and close them in flight as you want uh, uh, the breeze go flying through your face. Many of the things he saw ended up on the Super Legend. On the Super Legend, we did a lot of, uh, a lot of changes to the airplane. Uh, one is that we increased the uh, we increased our testing weight of the aircraft. We went to 750 pounds, just like the P-18 Piper Super Cub, on all of our testing requirements. Uh, basically, from nose to tail, we did add the new 6-inch, uh, 76-inch ground adjustable prop, and then we uh, we went back to the Lycoming -like engine, which is the O2-33 uh, multi-fuel engine. And throughout the aircraft, we use a lot of carbon fiber because it's very important to get as much useful load out of the aircraft as you can. So we, uh, our, all of our counties all carbon fiber. Our doors are carbon fiber, our floorboards, our seats, and our baggage department, and our back bulkheads. So wherever we can possibly use carbon fiber, we use that product in, in the Super Legend. But one of the best new features came from his office manager who asked for a new chair. And then uh, we have a really unique design on the front seat. We made it adjustable and uh, one of our office managers, uh, she wanted a bungee office chair. So what we decided to do is that we thought that was a great idea. We, I sat in, I thought this is the most comfortable thing I ever sat in. So I said, well, we're going to design one for an airplane. So we built a, uh, a, a bungee seat for the front seat, which is very, very comfortable. The engine wasn't the biggest change. Big changes on the Super Legend is that we add flaps on the airplane. Compared to the standard Legend, we don't have flaps. We have aerodynamic controlled uh, tail surfaces on the aircraft. They give a little bit more authority and a little bit less trim that is required when you're flying the aircraft. We add, the, of course, the uh, aero LED lighting with the NAM position and the, and the wigwag landing lights. Next time your day turns rotten, hop on an aerial Harley and go up for some flying therapy. In Sulphur Springs, Texas, Al Marsh, AOPA Live. Way to go, Al. Looks like a lot of fun and great advice. The Super Legend has just received ASTM approval as a light sport aircraft. You can read much more about it in the January edition of AOPA Pilot Magazine, digital edition available in a couple of weeks.